there for just three nights or something. Well, didn't explain what kind of business he's doing around here. But look at this. There's the interstate. I gotta go way out, way out of my route for to get to the interstate. But once I'm out there, in half a mile, turn right onto Highway 61. It'll be much better. But I could have went out to the interstate faster, a different direction, I think. I'll have to look at that. Too late now. Okay, what's it want us to do? Highway 61 and... Take the next right onto Highway 61. I don't know if I've ever been on this road. 61 rings bell. I'm not sure what highway. 60. Continue on Highway 61 for two miles. I'll have to look a map, at a map on that. Not sure. But it's a substantial highway. Four lane. Get my cruise set and relax. Lane centering, please. Oh, it can't see the lane over here. So I'll have to wait. Yeah, it'll come on when it can see the lines. I could defrost the rear window. It's not frosted, it's just got some water on it. Yeah, I'm on the road again. For anybody that hasn't seen Duluth, it's a very picturesque city, sitting on a big hill. You know, I'm talking about a hill that's a mile to the top, or two miles to the top. So, gradual hill, but everybody lives on the hill pretty much in the city. <clears throat> Turn left onto the I-35 north ramp to Duluth. Alright. Turn left onto the I-35 north ramp, then merge onto I-35 north. It's a police man. The smoky. Uh, one way it says, so I know I'm going the right direction. Yeah, this is better, coming out to the freeway. Mooch, mooch better. Cruising. I got my lane centering back. Going 65 miles an hour. Tip the seat back a little bit. <laughs> Keep my hands on the wheel. Yeah. 
Okay, I think I'll just do this uh, car appointment and then I will... I'm going to look for some candles for my candle lanterns. There's a speed trap ahead. And I need a new wireless mouse. I think I'll try Best Buy for that. I hope they got the same one because I do like it, but I, I'm on my third. Is it third? Or will this be my fourth? I don't know. This will be my, my third at least mouse. Wireless mouse, the same type. Works good. Bluetooth. I mean, they wear out, but I use it a lot. Use my my mouse a lot. <clears throat> yeah, a little shopping. I need groceries. I need eggs. I need milk. I need bread. I need snacks. And I should buy a bundle of firewood because if it's not snowing, the weather is just fine. Be nice. Dry firewood. Here's a hint for you don't buy from the campground. It's usually green wood, and it wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that they potentially sell green wood, you know, unseasoned wood, so then it burns slower, I don't, but I just have no luck with buying wood at campgrounds, and you know where I bought my last wood? It was at Menards. <laughs> it was the best wood I've ever had. I mean, it just, it burnt like a candle. I could have had one stick in there, and it would have been burning. Two is just plenty. So, maybe I'll stop at Menards. I couldn't tell from the bark what kind of wood it was. <clears throat> Be interesting to know. Buy it again. I bet you I've been burnt on, on firewood from campgrounds four or five times in the last year and a half. It's just no luck. Looks nice. And you pick it up and it's like got weight. And it's like, <laughs> that's not a good thing. It's full of water. So here we are coming into Duluth. I'd give you a better view. What's this guy slowing down for? That's uh, just where the ships come in. And Take products out. Mainly what goes out is, you know, iron ore, ore, but that's like continual. The ships come back empty and then they come back in and I got more iron ore. Uh, it's uh, taconite actually. It's, there's enough iron in it if they process it right they can make steel out of it, but it's not a, a real great quality ore. They depleted all the best quality ore years ago, and uh, finally they figured out if they process it right, they make it into pellets. Huge operation, but it's very economical how they do it, and uh, I, don't, I should read up on it. I'm not sure what it is exactly. They might add something to it or something. I don't know. But uh, it's a big industry. If you're ever interested in seeing a open pit mining, that's go up on the range, the iron range, and uh, there's a few pits that are open for viewing. And uh, it's a good, good process. They, it used to be a lot of grain went out of Duluth, I believe. Oh, buckets, he slowed down fast. Uh, but the grain goes down the Mississippi now. Which is fine. Okay, Google, tell me where to go. Uh, for two and a half miles or so.
So I gotta take a ride in two, 2.2 miles. On exit 254. And it'll be about half an hour late. In two miles, take exit 254 for 27th Avenue West. get on like going to Wisconsin because that'd be about five miles before you can turn around. You got to go over St. Louis Bay on that on a bridge. <laughs> Probably a 10 mile mistake and turn. I actually was pulling a camper across and I got off of the bridge on the other side, Wisconsin side, and I missed my turn. All of a sudden, I'm pulling a camper across the same bay I just crossed, back into Duluth. <laughs> so I took the next exit, <laughs> the next next bridge. There's two bridges across, at least two. So I took the next bridge where it's signed better when you get off the bridge. I mean, the side I got off on goes right into the heart of Superior, Wisconsin. and. Uh, I don't know. It's probably signed right, but I missed my turn and bad day, but it I got back home.